Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Uh, we're going to do a video on the selection sort algorithm to sort an array of elements. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to write my description of what the program does. So this program sorts an array of elements using selection sort algorithm. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to include uh, my library, stdio.h, and then let's go ahead and create our main function. And we're going to return zero, and I want to create my sorting or my selection sort algorithm. Or at least I want to define it here, and let's see here maybe we'll make it void we'll call it selection sort and it's going to take in an integer size which would be the size of the array and it will take in a um, array okay and now let's actually create it All right, so I'm gonna need a few variables. I'm gonna need integer i and j to be my counters or my index. And then I'm going to need, well, let's see, that that should be it. We already have our, uh, our size and we already have our array. So let's go ahead and get started here. So for um, j equals zero, j is gonna be less than the size of the array minus one and this is only because an array that's of size one is already sorted so that's why we don't have to sort that very last element in the array that's why we do the minus one here all right and then we're going to increment j by one okay um we will create a min variable i call it i min and i'm going to set it equal to our j value all right, and now let's do another for loop. And this one's gonna run from i equals zero. No, this is gonna run from i equals j plus one. So i equals the next element in the array. And it's gonna run till it reaches the end of our list, which is, um, or the end of the array, which is the size of the array. And then i is gonna increment by one each time. All right, now if the array at position i is uh, less than the array at position, the array at position i min, then we found our new minimum element and we're gonna want to swap um, these elements. So, uh, let's see. Well, okay, sorry. We, no, um, we found we found our new min, so we want to update our min uh, index and not swap them yet. So i min is going to update to whatever i is. Okay. So, oops. Now, if our i min value has changed, so if it does not equal our j value like we had to find it up here, now we're going to swap. So let's see, integer temp equals a at position i. Um, a at position, oh, I'm sorry, a at position j, not i, and then a at position j is going to become a at position i min, so the array at position i min, and then 
that position or that element at that position is going to be our temp variable. And that should do it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, now let's go ahead and do some print statements here. So I'm going to create integer size. Uh, we need our we probably need our index i. Um, let's see what else will we need. Uh, we will need our array. And I'm just going to make it size 21. Okay, so now let's do our print statement. And it's going to say enter the total number of elements. put a little space there and then we're going to scan the size of the array so now we get the number of elements in the array size all right and now let's print um, let's allow the user to enter the uh, elements into the array so we're going to print enter percent D that's going to be the size or the number of elements uh, that that we want to enter so let's see here size okay and then we're going to do a little loop for equals zero I is going to be less than size I is going to increment by one and within this loop Within this loop, we're going to do a scan f to scan in each element into the array. All right. So that should do it. So now let's do our selection. Let's do our selection sort to sort that array of elements. And that's simple. We could just call our function that we created. And we're going to still take in size. And for our array, it's actually called array. So um, that's going to have to change. Oops, let's see, integer here. All right, and we're going to put in our array. Perfect. All right, and now we need to print out the array. So the newly sorted array, the array after sorting is, and let's do a uh, for loop here as well, for i equals zero, i is going to be less than the size, i is going to increment by one, and then what we're going to do is print out each element in the array, now that's been sorted. So this is the array at position I. Okay, and that should be it. Let's give it a try. Oh, I must already have something called Untitled on my desktop. Uh, but that's fine. I will just rename this program later. So let's see. Enter the total number of elements. I want to enter three elements. We're going to enter um, five four and one so five four and one although it's sorted it's actually sorted in descending order um, and our algorithm sorts it in ascending order so this is going to sort it one four five so let's go ahead and press enter okay so we get an error message let's see what's going on here um, probably when I'm scanning into the array yes so I forgot to put the um, ampersand sign there so let's go ahead and run this again so I wanted to scan in, let's do four numbers this time. And we're going to do four, three, two, one. So perfect. So we see that the array after sorting is one, two, three, four. Um, let's put a little space here just to make it look a little bit better. And run it one more time. This time I'm going to do three elements. And I'm going to do uh, one, element one, element three, and element two. So it should, should sort it uh, one, two, three. Perfect. 
Okay, and so that you guys understand what's really going on here, um, let's say our input was uh, something like, well, yeah, let's do three, two, one. Like that's our array, or I say input, um, array input is what I call it. Well, the selection sort algorithm, how it works is it'll start off with three, two, one. Um, then what we'll do is we'll have our uh, minimum element be one. So it goes through, it says, okay, it's three, the minimum element. It says yes for now, because that's what we do. We assign I min is equal to that index. So number three is the minimum element. Then it compares it here. It says it's three, um, it's three less than two. And three is not less than two, three is greater than two. So our I min becomes the new index. So our minimum value now becomes the two. And it loops through again, and uh, it compares the two and the one. So it, it loops through here again, and then it compares the two and the one. And um, it says is two less than one, and it's not. So um, our I min updates again. And now our minimum value is one. So we swap one. Uh, once we get there, if I min does not equal the current J value, the current J value is three, then we swap I min with uh, J. So we swap our two elements. So it looked like this. Our new array now would be one, two, and three. And then it does the same thing. But now our uh, first for loop updates j increments by one so now we're looking at this second element here and we're going to do that comparison is two um, is two less than three and it is so we're actually done it's probably not a good example of doing three two one but um, that's basically how it works I will make sure I comment this code here and I'll make sure I put it up on my github so you guys can see it and thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please leave likes, uh, comments, questions. Don't forget to become a supporter on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.